Hey there everybody and welcome to the demo of Neon Abyss. This is a game by Vivo Games and the best way to describe it is, uh, well, it's an action roguelike platformer, pretty hectic as well, and it's kind of a platformer version of another game called The Binding of Isaac, very similar, in that you acquire items in this procedurally generated uh, dungeon over here, which in this case consists of at least four rooms, maybe more, we'll see. And you gather items, weapons, and sort of build your character around item and weapon synergy. There is, of course, permanent death, so when you die, you have to start over. And let's see what we get. Mystical egg. It's inside. Okay, I don't know what that does, but we'll find out. Very much like the Binding of Isaac, you kind of figure out what items and weapons do as you acquire them and use them, rather than the game telling you what they do. Oh, bad enemies. Yuck. Very cool. Love the aesthetic, too. The colors. Very neon, which, I mean, I like, too. Oh, some armor. Oh, and you have a little knife, too, when you're close enough to a crate. All right. Awesome. Oh. Ah, you guys are scary. Kind of cute, though, also. Oh, I love the soundtrack as well. Oh, come on. There you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Crazy. You know, let's just sit up here and... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, I guess I can't double jump, so I can't get up there quite yet. Hopefully we will get an item to do that soon. Oh yes, there are more rooms, okay. And at the end of each floor, I believe there will be a boss. Uh, there is teleporting in this, which is really cool. Oh, I think guess we had a key for that. Uh, but teleporting really allows you to traverse the map much more quickly. What's this? Soldier mask. Oh, your bullets track enemies. Ah. Uh, also looks very cool in the character. No, I can't double jump. Any secrets? I believe the secret rooms have like a special marking on the wall. Um, but since there aren't any other rooms over here, well, I guess we'll keep going this way. Uh, usually secret rooms do have markings, kind of a crack on the wall. So we'll see if we can discover any of them. Uh, we might find a map as well, which will just tell us where it is. Uh oh, What's this? Ow. Add three crystal containers. Huh. Oh, I can see the bullets tracking the enemies. Yeah. All right. Whoa. Let's oh, can't break those. Ow. Okay, this enemy tracking is quite useful. Assuming you're close enough, because this blaster doesn't really have the greatest range. Oh, it hatched into a thing. Okay. Not sure what this thing is or does, but... Oh, it kind of shoots... Oh, it shoots your enemies, or maybe it mirrors your own shots? Very cool. A chest uh, with nothing in it? <laughs> I think that's an explosive barrel. Will it reveal a secret? No, it will not. Oh, there's a key to a shop there, or to get to the shop you need a key. wonder if this needs to be like shot or something. No, I think we need a special item for that. Uh, we can teleport. There's a shop there, but... Now let's keep going to the bus. God of Pill, George. Alright. Very nice to have this kind of familiar like character helping us out. And the homing bullets are really handy. Oh. Oh, phase two. It's gonna bounce around and smash on the ground. I have fought this boss a couple of times before. Although, that doesn't mean I'll do any better <laughs> this time. <laughs> Whoa! And from what I've seen so far from the demo, anyway, this game has a lot of potential to be addictingly fun. Alright. Um, oh, we can actually go back through the... Uh, okay, that's cool. 
Uh, don't think so. Uh, yeah, let's enter it's level two. And this demo looks like there are five different levels. Let's see if we can get there. All right, so this will be another randomly generated dungeon. I think this room stays the same, seemingly, but the rest of the rooms are randomly generated. Ow. What's that? Oh, <laughs> we, just, we just found out the hard way. All right, we do have grenades. Probably use them a bit more sparingly. Oh, triple kill. Probably use them a little bit more. What's this? Last hope. You have a chance to get a shield after each battle. Very cool helmet. Oh, you just spawn bombs and bats, apparently. Oh, and more bats. Great. Oh, oh that hurt. Oh, and the familiar upgrades too, every certain number of rooms. Very cool. All right, teleporter and a key. Let's grab a key to the shop. I don't know if we have enough coins, but I mean, sure. Let's go find out. Take a look at the shopkeeper. Armor, health, grenade or key. Can't afford any of these except for the grenade, but not really worth it, so. We might come back later. Hmm, I'm probably missing a secret room, but uh, feel free to point out in the comments what I'm missing if you played this game before, because uh, I would like to know a little bit more about some item strategies and maybe builds and stuff like that. It would be nice to hear from you. All right, let's see. Let's go up this way. Oh, never mind. <laughs> let's go this way. Ow. Yay! That was awfully close. Oh, armor and health. Cool. Game seems to be uh, quite generous in its health and armor giveaways and drops right now. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is it here. Maybe a grenade? Yeah, okay. Cool. Secret room. Another mystical egg. Oh, we get two of them. Cool. All right. Activate teleporter. Unlock this to the item room, I guess. Must be the item room of each level, yeah. Ping pong racket. Tense shooting a bouncing bullet. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow, that's really cool. Okay. Really enjoying the weapon variety so far. There's only gonna be more, of course. Oh, and it's a homing ping pong ball, also. Wow. Oh. I thought you were a familiar for a sec, but you're not. Alright, let's destroy these crates here. For keys and armor and stuff. Totally worth it. Ooh, a grenade also. Different kinds of grenades, which is very cool. There's like fire and normal grenades. I'm not sure what the purple ones do. But I'm sure I will find out. Oh, little guy. Okay, let's blow up that barrel over there. Boom. Come on, there we go. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Walk right into that one. Only have myself to blame for my mistakes. Extra armor, always nice. Cool. Ooh, another fire grenade there. Goes this way. Is it worth it for one coin? I mean, oh, we have 90 coins. I don't really think one coin is worth it. Uh, let's go into this room before we head to the boss, though. Maybe our egg will hatch. And we'll have two familiars, perhaps. Whoa, there's different phases in this room, or different, like, enemy types. Oh, very cool. Hey, we got an item. Tech module. Add shields, upgrade your guns, allowing you to fire multiple rounds. Ah. 
getting better and better. All right. Wonder when this egg's gonna hatch. Am I missing any rooms or anything? No, not really. I guess I could teleport back to the shop. At least I don't have to like backtrack continuously. I can just teleport to where I need to go. It's a very cool feature indeed. All right. Let's grab a couple keys. Or well, just the one key, I guess. Um, what is this? <laughs> Turn all wooden chest to cursed chests. Uh, I'm not sure what a cursed chest is, but I'm sure we'll find out. Maybe this boss will have a chest for us. <laughs> oh, got a Bitcoin. Speaking of a chest, do, do you become a cursed chest? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I guess the trick is to stay airborne with this guy. Oh. Oh, now he's... He's angry. He's angry. Oh. Oh. that? Scary. All right. Okay, we got this. Thank. Yeah. And there's a little familiar. Look, looks like a joker. Devil fruit. Add a heart container and increases your gun's damage. Wow. All right, let's head through the portal. I must say, looking pretty badass with all this armor and equipment here. Stage three. We have our double familiars, too. There's one more guy. There we go. All right, got him. Nothing up here, so... Go this way. Whoa. Ow. <laughs> what does this little familiar do? I'm not really sure. Oh. Future tech. Add shields and increase your fire rate. Ah. Can't get up there, but that's fine. Oh, hey, here we go. Unlock that teleporter. Let's go through here to get our item. 2077. The more shields you have, the higher weapon damage you get. Is there a way to see the items that I have? Can't tell, but that's fine. Uh, let's go back. Actually, we can just teleport back. Almost forgot. <laughs> Might as well use the fast travel if we can. Uh, let's go down here first. Uh, what is this? No, no, no. I had a feeling it would explode. So many bombs. Whoa. Ooh, cursed chest. Ow. Okay, I see. Get a heart from it. So it is like, that is like the Binding of Isaac. There are cursed chests that give, that would have exchanged health for items. Very cool. And I really did enjoy the Binding of Isaac a heck of a lot. So the fact that I'm comparing this game to that is, uh, I see it as a good thing. Ooh, familiar leveled up. There's no, there's no harm in getting inspiration from other games because all games do that. <laughs> uh, I need to get up there, but I can't. No, because I don't have double jump. Can I maybe? Oh, I can't get up there. No. All right, maybe I will get double jump. Let's get that teleporter, that would be nice. At least that I know I can get to, all right. Ooh, a shop. Uh, sure. I mean, I have a lot of coins, so why not? 
Do you have a cool item? What's this? I might as well get shields actually, but let's purchase this item. And a shield. Increases your bullet velocity. I wonder if for, it applies for familiars too. I think it does. Does velocity mean range too? Does that mean they travel faster? Does it? No, okay. Never mind. Yeah, let's get to that teleporter. Let's get over here. Unfortunately, we can't get that treasure, but I'm really hoping to get double jump or something. Whoa! Goodness me. All right. Is this familiar? Oh, he just chucks grenades everywhere. I'm really glad they don't damage me. <laughs> okay, cool. Grenades are always useful and helpful. Give me a quick work of that room, that's for sure. Oh, hey, I can get to this chest, though. Double grenade, all right. Not too bad, and I kind of do want this. Oops. Oops. I guess I can't get to that. Maybe I can. Okay, there we go. Oh, double chest. Ooh. This big coin, what does this do? Any grenades open that too? <laughs> okay, a grenade for a grenade and a key. All right, not complaining. Teleporter and boss, and what's this? Like a cursed room or something? Yeah. All right. It is a cursed room. If I remember right, there are several phases to cursed rooms. Yes, there are. Okay, I leveled up and we get two weapons. Okay. Sunset, close your eyes. Bouncing bullets or windstorm. It's basically just rapid fire. I think I'll take the rapid fire myself. Is it really quicker than this? I think it is. I think it's a little faster, so sure. Well, the reflecting bullets are pretty fun. You know what? Yeah, let's take reflecting bullets. <laughs> Ow. All right, boss. Here we come. Oh, got a Bitcoin again. All right. Oh, I can shoot you from here. That's cool. Oh, get him. Chuck, chuck grenades familiars. Get him. I'm going to throw my own grenades at you. Whoa. Oi, oi. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a little low on health, which is a bit scary. Oh, I think we got this. Yeah, definitely, we got it. Medal of Honor increases your gun's damage some more. I'd like to get to the shop and probably purchase a, um, some kind of a health or something. Let's actually blow up this. Oh, I don't have any grenades. Never mind. Let's see if we can get to the shop and purchase some health. Where's the secret room? I know it's somewhere, but it's fine. Let's just try to progress a little bit. Hello, shop. Do you have health? You do. And a key. Sure, and a grenade. Get everything. Sadly, no double jump for us, but oh well.
All right, stage four. Are you ready for me, stage four? Because I'm ready for you. I think. <laughs> Why? What's this thing? Ow. Okay, I'm actually really grateful for uh, reflective projectiles. Or, yeah, projectiles that bounce off walls and stuff. Cool. I see you, chest, but I can't get to you. Okay, teleporter, nice. Oh, free coin. All right. This way, perhaps. Hmm. One coin. All right. Oh wait, was that a? No. Okay, no. I just saw something on the wall, or thought I saw something, but there's nothing there. Oh, what the? Ah, oh, these things explode. can't get to. No. Oh, I got it. Yay. Yeah, shop and health, please. <laughs> Will not take the item. At least not yet. Probably going to get enough coins uh, later on. All right, let's go down this way and go over here. Okay, cool. Where can we go? Back to the teleporter room, I suppose. And then we go this away. Ah, bombs. I don't want to know what happens if those little things explode. Maybe some kind of a treasure, so let's see if we can get it with our one grenade. Come on. Ooh, big coin, yes, perfect. Ah, these things have a lot more health than I expected. All right, let's shoot these guys from down here. What's that? Unlocking do not consume the key, but only valid somewhere. Uh, okay, I really don't want to waste that. Another familiar. Familiar number three. Well, there's two item rooms in this. Okay, cool. Still didn't consume a key, but maybe it only works on this floor? Add a crystal container. You can recover hearts by using crystal. How do I use crystal? Ooh, a slot machine. Wah. Come on. Yay! Got it. We get a key for that. Sweet. Another familiar. Oh, wow. All right. It's going to be quite the long train of familiars here. Let's actually use a teleporter. I think that's, yeah, much more convenient. All right. Oh, it's this way. My mistake. 
Let's go the purple way. What? Uh, where's the boss? Must be a secret or something. And that's going to do it for this episode of Neon Abyss, the demo that is. If you've enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a like, a comment, and even consider subscribing if you like this kind of content and you'd like to see more of it. We'll see you again soon.